definitive of his actual skill. And I feel like that's just SoCal in general. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Some, some crazy, like, sometimes they're exactly where we put them, but sometimes they just go off. Yeah, for Cyro, I think he is one of those players. Cyro and AC, honestly, are those key players, because AC, I know, I've, I've talked to AC a few times, he's been more focused with school, mm -hmm. but Cyro and AC are two players, and their PR spot does not determine their actual power level. They can be way above you here, but let's go into Kairos versus MG3. This is going to be interesting, a little bit of history from Kairos, is Kairos actually somewhat used to fighting Snake, he used to fight Romo Cup back in World 8. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a throwback. And then, you know what's funny is that, that wasn't Romo Cup, that was a SoCal player that actually used to be ranked, and his name was Anwar. Okay. So, a oh, lot Anwar. Of, yeah. I know yep. Anwar. Let's, shout out to Anwar. Yeah, Hope so he had disguised himself as another player, and then when the 818 found out that a guy named Romo Cup was coming to World 8, we said, that's not RoboCup, that's Anwar. That's, that's a former PR player right there, man. So, Kairos is a little bit familiar with this matchup here, but like I said, once you are, understand the matchup, it is the player that it comes down to here. And MG, Jim, MG3 is a very different stake. Yeah, and I think that MG3, I mean, there's a couple snakes in SoCal, and I think his playstyle is going to be a lot more defensive. He's willing to commit to this playstyle where he's like, okay, I'm going to get you on the ledge, or I'm going to like slowly just play very meticulously, get you on the ledge, and then play his ledge trap, which is something that I think he's very good at uh, in general. Thank you. And, you know, Kairos is going to want to try to mix it up. He's going to red audit. You know, he might be going for that playstyle, you know, really spamming buttons or maybe spamming B buttons. And that's kind of the problem with the links in, in SoCal is they're so good at mixing up that place. Yeah, oh, but also with, with Kairos is ability to understand other things like risk reward factor. We saw how he chose to get, go for that roll getup against Snake because he knows this roll getup will be better than the other getup I might choose in which Snake can actually punish me for. And Kairos, Kairos is one of those players that I do know for sure. He knows what, what he can actually punish because he likes to know that knowledge. He's definitely somebody who likes to know how moves work. Yeah. Uh, I know he was one of the first people to kind of explain a lot of the Toon Link or Young Link intricacies with me, so he definitely is going to be very aware of this matchup and this facing game. And it's working out very well so far. He's really punishing MG3 on the landings, and if he's not hitting him on landings, he's covering spots, so it's making what? it much more uncomfortable. <laughs> Did you see that? Did it's good because go it's, cause it's so active, but yeah. also the end line oh. off down air. My god, Kairos all over MG3 on the landing options. Yeah. He's really, really just beating him on the landing. And that's going to be an up air as well. No, nice. He tries to go for the back air just because of the how that will work, but also well to put MG, MG3. He's up tilt's not connecting. MG3 really struggling to find a kill. Not really falling for any of these snake trap. Uh, Kairos is playing this spacing game absolutely amazing versus snake. Dashing away, knows when to dash away and reposition. Up each trading, four till not enough to kill MG3 now on the edge guard with Nikita not finding it though. Here's another one. There we go, closing it out. How, what do you think MG3 needs to adapt here? Because it's looking pretty rough, I think. It's honestly, it's the fact that like the one thing that Snake requires is time to set up things. But Kairos knows I can't give this Snake an inch. If not, he's gonna go ahead and take a mile. Yeah. He's being smothered at this point. And for MG3 not having the opportunities to actually set up his master trap, that's the one thing that Snake does is he traps the neutral. If you, if you have poor neutral, Snake will undoubtedly win against you because he traps the neutral so well. And MG3 is just being smothered here. The question is, how am I going to get Kairos to play my game? How do I slow him down here? That's a really good option here. Cover the air. Cover Kairos in the landing. You put an ear 1-1 one, one of stock here. MG3, even though he's got 143, he could have had something to work with, but Kairos is no stock. Yeah, Kairos all over that. I mean, the way the way that he was playing it was very, like, counter to where MG3 wanted to get out of disadvantage. He was catching these kind of drifts that snake players are so used to doing. They're used yeah. to dropping explosives and, like, all right, I'm going to kind of drift away. I'm going to try to, you know, get into my own space, set some things up, maybe get a platform covered. But then Kairos is all like, I'm going to throw a boomerang at you, I'm going to swing at you, and I'm going to get into your space. And I feel like that's what, what we've been getting on this stream is, like, people getting into each other's spaces and breaking the board. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that I do love about AC is that he's also really immaculate at how do I get my opponent off me, right? Yeah. Because Snake is pretty slow. Neutral options aren't as great as you might think, but his ability to actually have grenades and then use that to break the combo is one thing that AC can accelerate. Yeah. So it's weird to see how MG3 is going to look to accelerate about punishing Kairos for being a little bit too close here. Am I going to hold a grenade while he hits me? Am I going to cause Kairos to also hit the grenade as well? That's one thing here. But unfortunately, I think there might have been a misinput here from MG3, and that gave Kairos some stock. Sorry, some stock lead, but also percentage as well. 
Yeah, and I think that MG3 really needs to tighten up his punishes. He's not really, like, getting explosive trains and doing anything with it. He's just like, okay, I'm going to try to get some rare, like, you know, raw percent and then try to, you know, get some sort of ledge trap going. But if Kairos, you know, he plays with bombs himself, he knows explosive awareness, it's going to be really difficult to kind of, like, etch out those kills with some tricky explosive plays against Kairos. Yeah, and it's not to put MG3 down as a, as a rough player here, but it's in the middle of the center stage. He is trying to stop Kairos from going up in the air with those nade bombs. But we sh he might have been looking to possibly do here is look to set up grenades, see forceful, and then Kairos does make the approach. He punishes him for going for center stage here. This is going to be MG3's edge guard here, but the bomb will give. Yeah. Normally, a bomb will actually give Kairos a second hero spin, but unfortunately, that is a trigger is a little bit too long and not going to reach. Yeah, and that was really, really good for MG3 that Kairos wasn't able to recover there because he kind of struggled to get those kills in that first game. So whatever stocks he can take, definitely going to be necessary. But Kairos, just on this aggression with the playstyle, you know, approaching with arrows, waiting for spot dodges. I mean, he's yeah. absolutely all over this whole game of like, I know you're going to want a grenade out of disadvantage, so I'm going to use my range to kind of extend combos from across the stage where I'm safe. Yeah, Kairos is one of those... He's pretty much saying, I hold the neutral. Yeah, I hold the neutral. <laughs> I do not, I don't care about your grenades. Yeah. I don't care about your traps. I have the projectiles and I'm going to connect across the stage with them. Yeah. Uh, I hold the neutral, therefore I win. Why do I need to approach? Exactly. And this is, it's interesting for Snake having to play this game against projectiles. Like, oh shoot, now I need to be the one that pushes the docket because Kairos is so comfortable. Like, I'm just going to sit across the stage from you and shoot projectiles. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Ooh, so, there we MG3 go. snuck in a sneaky C4 there, but I also like that Kairos was also a little aware of, okay, I see MG3. I'm going to come back a little bit more towards the ledge just to be safe. Yep. And Kairos with a combo there. The oh, and the yeah, and the grenade, yeah. I mentioned how those grenades, they're going to have to come into play here for MGT, Ooh, especially a little bit more shot. often here. Oh, well, Kairos is not scared of chasing. I was no. going to say, Kairos is no. not scared of chasing. You got to be careful with those ciphers. Yeah, he's really willing to go up there. He knows the explosive awareness. He knows how to Z catch bombs. He's going to be very, very confident here. Oh, the, the fake roll. out. The fake out with the, the boomerang MG3 respected the, the no hitbox. Okay, the explosives from MG3, they're trying to get something started. Kairos playing this range game, this mid-range. You cannot grenade out of my combos if I'm not there. There we go. Oh, the landing for it from MG3 is big. But the down air catches him. Not enough to kill. Here we go. Kairos a little bit of patience here. He's no, he knows he has the whole station work with 74, 167. Oh, no. Sending into the corner. Gets the down air on the C4. I like that. I yeah. like that because he kind of saw how MG3 was looking to just continue to set up. And then Kairos was like, all right, if you're going to play this ground game, that's the one thing that we, you, you would have liked to have seen from MG3 is toss grenade up, yeah. toss grenade down, run it with grenade. Get everything covered so that when Sarah decides to go for a jump around you, his options are limited. Unfortunately for MD3, a little bit of tunnel vision here to take the stop because he knows that was pretty much anybody's game. Yeah. <laughs> was, Especially with Rage. Yeah, that game too is really scary. And I think that it kind of comes down to like being able to cover your opponent with Snake. Once you do pop up Kairos, it's really important you set up your traps. But when you overcommit with a C4, which, you know, in many other matchups, it's like, okay, that's not so much of an overcommitment. But Kairos is able to land with that downer and kind of punish you for, you know, placing C4 not under a platform. Yeah. Yeah.